Uh, oh, got another update for you. We're working on the shoulder uh, anchor points, making them more sturdy. You can see I've gone inside and taken out the shoulder anchor points. And that unit is right over here, leaning up against my van. It anchors into the rest of the mech frame. I'm here, here, down here, and over here. I've added some black arrows so I remember which bolt holes to use. And you can see that it isn't very stable and you can twist around pretty easily. So, I'm using some PVC cement to get it all together so it's nice and solid. That's what I've used to put the um, uh, frame of the mech's uh, hips or well, I guess it's a torso now, so it sticks all nice and together, so it's more likely for the PVC to break instead of the um, joints where it's cemented itself. And um, here's just the arm for a sense of scale. This is a car, Jeep Pontiac D6. Ooh. And you can see that the arm is wider, or is longer than the car is wide. And how the arm attaches to that um, frame there is just by these two points here and here. They connect onto the points um, up here and down there to give a hinge swinging motion. And now if you'll excuse me, I gotta do some PVC cementing, which means I gotta use a respirator so I don't get that... Uh, yicky fumes from the PVC in my lungs, so I'll be back in uh, just a second. Alright, my voice might sound a little funny because I'm wearing my respirator. I am Darth Vader. So I've marked all the joints of the PVC so I know exactly how everything lines up. So the mounting bolt points also line up nicely. And how this works, it's very simple. You just take some primer You yeah, put it on the inside of your PVC joint, like so. Then you take this, which is the actual cement, and you put it on your part, on your part. Get a nice loop around. And then, make sure there's no leaves on it. Or maybe there can be leaves on it, I don't care. And you just jam it in. Where is it? There you are. Put it in. Make sure the holes are nice and lined up. Which they more or less are. And, there we go. And it dries in like a minute or so, and I haven't actually timed it, so I will finish PVC cementing the rest of these joints together. I'll let you know when that happens, then we'll put it back inside the mech. So, see you in a second. Alright, everything is all glued up. You can see some of the stuff oozing out of the uh, seams. Now, that the hands are all nicely tightened up. Gonna spend a couple minutes let the fumes uh, dissipate from the area. Well, this isn't good. While well, looking around getting this uh, dust cover off to get the other arm, uh, well, shoulder uh, anchor off, I noticed that this bolt is coming out of the frame. So, probably because I forgot to put a uh, nut and washer on there, so I'm just gonna install these before things get too out of hand and, you know, fall apart. <laughs> well, that's not good. Well, I was working on taking off this dust cover to remove the other um, shoulder anchor. I noticed something rather peculiar. I did not put a nut on either of those two bolts, so this one is actually starting to slide out quite a bit and making things get all cockeyed. So, 
I just gotta go, hammer it in, and then put on a nut and a washer. And hopefully a nut and washer on that one. And things should remain a little straight. And I also got to put that um, roof panel back on because it's starting to slide out. Probably because of the, well, wonky shoulder anchor. So, back in a sec. Well, looks like all that loose stuff made us get a uh, bendy bolt. Let's see if we can uh, straighten it out, huh? There we go, looking a little better. Now we'll see about uh, hammering it uh, back into its uh, proper slot. Hey, that's more like it. Um, well, you can see that the uh, shoulder brace is just about to fall off, taking this roof panel with it. So I'll be back in a sec, hopefully, with everything all nice and neat and well, down on the ground. Here we go, here is the second one. Safely extracted out of the left uh, side of the torso. I gotta put that thing back on, secure it. With the arm resting on top of my car. You know you're working with big stuff when you're using cars for a workbench and they're just barely big enough. <laughs> so, this one Right here, it's a little bit tall because this was pretty much scraping up against the uh, upper strut. So I'm going to pop that off, give it a slight trim, then put the PVC cement on. So it's uh, all nice and sturdy. And I don't know why I put a cross brace on the uh, right uh, shoulder strut, but not the left one. But I don't know if it's needed or not, but I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, there's more light. You can see I've got this uh, arm attached. It was a bit of a pain in the butt because, I don't know, this arm is kind of funky. So, you can see it's all attached in nice and tight up top. I haven't connected the um, uh, bungees to hold, help uh, lift the arm, but that's something pretty easy to do. And then I gotta lubricate the arm, so then it should be ready to operate. And now, we'll take a look at the uh, from the far side, so we'll just put our ladder right here. And we'll get it right up. You can see my wonderful mech mobile. And you can see where it anchors in at those two points. And one point up there. As you can see that I, instead of feeding it through a hole in the plastic, I just threaded it under, um, I'm going to need to do something, probably install a bit of plastic over the top to make it give it a nice, um, uh, proper seal. And the right, uh, shoulder, a uh, mounting point, anchor point, whatever, will be going right here. And I'll be putting that in in just a second. And there we go. It's in all nice and snug. Now what I'm going to do is put in a bolt and I just... Wiggle it around till it gets more or less all the way through. There we go, that's one. Over here. Where to put my hammer? Oh. There it is, we're over there. One second. Uh-huh. And we'll go. Yep, one. And, uh, hmm. Well, I'll get back to that one. Okay, you gotta step up a bit. Get a little closer. So, and do this one. So I'm going to need both hands for this one, so if you'll wait just a second.
And the last bit of tightening go right in there. There we go. Now, you can see, that's in there nice and tight. None of those um, uh, PVCs are gonna pop out of their sockets anytime soon. So now, we're gonna install the right arm. Well, since the arm was on the ground, I decided to do a few things to make my life easier. Mostly it's just um, doing some cable management, putting these uh, finger cables somewhere nice and out of the way. And I tightened up the Waldo um, axle because this nut was barely on. It was causing all sorts of problems. But now it doesn't wobble around too much. So with a bit of lubrication and maybe some uh, bungees installed inside, it should give a nice even bend. So let's see it when it's uh, all put on. There we go. Now the arm is on. We'll just take a quick look inside to see how it looks. We've got one hinge um, bolted on, right yeah. there. The other one isn't bolted on because, well, I'm too lazy, but you can see it's a lot more of a sturdy um, setup. Not really likely for the uh, parts to come out and disconnect, so that's a good thing. Yes, the mech does jiggle around, but it's better to be um, uh, flexible and jiggly and stay together than be rigid and fall apart. And uh, something I've noticed that uh, the mech is starting to kind of lean to the left with the rear motor carriage. Um, that's probably something uh, going on right here. You can see this is kind of starting to twist outwards and pull apart from the bottom. So. I'm probably going to have to get another L bracket like that, put it um, inside here and maybe one going right there. And maybe wrangle it a bit so it stays in shape more. Maybe use some uh, two by fours as a cross braces instead of just some uh, PVC and, oh, no wonder. This cross brace actually came off. Huh. Well, that explains that. But the mech is nicely supported kind of, with these uh, little skinny saw horses, as I mentioned in one of the other videos about the leg switch luau. So, the next thing I'm going to be doing is finishing up switching the legs. It's got these, um, you know, the bendy bolts in there at the moment. But I did get a couple of um, uh, nice uh, 3 8 inch bolts, so all I gotta do is drill new holes and install those. And then work on, well, as I mentioned, that um, cross brace situation on the motor carriage, which is getting a little crazy. Probably because this ground, despite how it looks, is not perfectly level. You know, it's got some dips and stuff. So that's a bit of an issue, but considering it's holding pretty well together. And no, this isn't on crooked or anything. It's just not attached, so it's kind of floppy. So that's it for this kind of build video maybe you'd call it i don't know experimenting with a new sort of a video style of filming while i'm working ish instead of just filming talking about what i did so if you like it uh let me know so be sure to like and subscribe then i will see you next time bye bye